There's a push to accelerate the development of a coronavirus vaccine, but can it be done safely and ethically? CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has this. More than 100 different companies and research centers are right now racing to develop a safe and effective COVID-19 vaccine. We've been told that a vaccine might be available in 12 to 18 months, some say even by the end of the year. Those are wildly optimistic estimates, given that every approved vaccine today has taken years, even decades, to develop and test. The only way a coronavirus vaccine can meet that timetable is by taking significant, possibly risky, shortcuts. The most time-consuming stage in vaccine development is phase three, where a candidate vaccine is given to tens of thousands of people to see if they are protected compared to an unvaccinated control group over a period of years. Now, in order to accelerate that stage, serious researchers have proposed in the journal Science vaccinating volunteers and then deliberately exposing them to the COVID-19 virus to test the vaccine's effectiveness. This raises difficult ethical questions given the virus's potential lethality. Key points include participant selection, informed consent. Is the risk beyond reasonable? And does the value to society justify the risks? A coronavirus vaccine human challenge working group has formed and writing in the journal Reason conclude, along with the WHO, that the ethical considerations are surmountable. The potential benefit to society is clear. Volunteer risk would be minimized by enrolling young, healthy people with a low risk of serious illness and who would be closely monitored and isolated. While not all will agree that this shortcut is appropriate, the time to discuss the issue is before vaccines are ready for human challenge trials. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.